Ukrainian troops posted video footage, claiming to be in the town of Sudza in Russia's Kursk Oblast. The video was filmed in an alley in the Zaloshenka settlement on the western outskirts of Sudza, where the Gazprom facility is located, two kilometers from the town center, according to the independent Russian media outlet Meduza. Russian Defense Ministry claimed that Russian forces are carrying out attacks against Ukrainian soldiers on the western outskirts of the town of Sudza as Kiev's incursion continues into the fifth day. Sudza is located less than 10 kilometers from the border with Ukraine, while the city of Kursk lies 85 kilometers to the northeast of Sudza. This is the first time Moscow claimed that Ukrainian forces reached the town amid multiple reports about their presence there. According to the ministry, Russian forces also launch attacks on Ukraine's armed forces' manpower and equipment near the settlements of Daryino, Gogolevka, Melovoy, and Nikolsky. But Ukrainian military announced that the city of Sudza in the Kursk region has come under the full control of the Ukrainian army. It should be noted that earlier it was reported that the Ukrainian army controls the main part of Sudza. At present Ukrainian forces pressed deeper into Russia, trying to capitalize on their surprise cross-border offensive, as Moscow moved quickly to shore up its defenses against the largest assault on Russian soil since the war began. After capturing several small settlements the last few days, Ukraine was battling to take full control of a town near the border and sending small units to conduct raids farther into the southwestern Russian region of Kursk. The Ukrainian military has enforced a policy of silence about the operation, and it has not publicly acknowledged launching a cross-border attack. Kiev's allies in the past have been wary of Ukrainian incursions in Russia, fearing that it could escalate the war, but there have been no public indications from Western capitals that they oppose the assault. The United States has said that the Ukrainian incursion does not violate American guidance. However, Senior American officials have said privately that they did not get a heads up about the operation and were still seeking clarity about its logic and rationale. Объект Газпром в місті Суджа контролюється 99-м механізованим батальйоном 61-ї окремої степової бригади. Всім мирного неба. Слава Україні! Former British Army officer Colonel Richard Kemp writes in a column for the British publication, The Telegraph, that Putin's war against Ukraine is moving to the countries of Africa and the Middle East. At the same time, the special forces of the main directorate of intelligence do not lose any chance for operations against Russian formations and their allies. It is noted that most recently, Kiev claims to have supplied rebel groups in Mali with intelligence that led to an attack against Russian Wagner Group mercenaries in which 84 were reportedly killed. The Telegraph says that Kyiv has sought military opportunities even further afield, perhaps in an echo of Churchill's Special Operations Executive, which sent military operatives to establish a second front in Europe before D-Day was even a possibility. Since at least last year, Ukrainian special forces have endeavored to damage Russian military capabilities by attacking elsewhere in the world. In May, General Kirillo Budanov, chief of Ukraine's military intelligence, said, We conduct operations aimed at reducing Russian military potential anywhere where it's possible. That includes Sudan, where Russian mercenaries are supporting the rebel Rapid Support Forces, which have been fighting against government troops since last spring. In the Middle East, Ukrainian special forces have reportedly been attacking Russian troops and destroying military equipment in Syria, since at least the beginning of this year, along with anti-regime forces in the country. Since the start of the war in Ukraine, Russia has shifted some of its combat forces from Syria to increase the number of troops there, and Kyiv's aim will be to apply military pressure to reverse the move. Efforts of Ukrainian special forces in Africa and the Middle East may be little more than pins with minimal strategic effort. But in a war where the country's survival is at stake, and in the absence of Western support, it has no choice but to beat its enemy wherever it can. Undermining Russian criminal activity around the world is clearly in our interests as well as Kyiv's interests. Putin's cooperation with Iran, particularly in Syria, contributes to the destabilization of the Middle East, which we are witnessing today. Kemp is sure. According to Colonel Kemp, 
the countries of the Middle East, which were once in awe of Russian military power, have finally realized that it was only an illusion.